Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to route out this shed crafts with shame plaque. It's on recycled wood. This is some sort of pine. It's not the best, but it was free, and it was originally was a wardrobe. So I've got plenty of this to go out. Right, as always for me, you got your template. Stick it down in position where you're going to need it. And I'll literally put carbon paper underneath. Two pieces on this one, obviously. And literally draw around your template. If you're really clever, you can literally just glue that straight to the wood. Or glue it on top of painter's tape. And route over the top. I've tried it the once. It's just too messy. Never will I try it again. So we've drawn it on. Nice and easy, this one today. Quite a basic plaque, this one. But what I will do, just to make it a little bit different, is route out three lines down the middle, the full length of the board, to give us four little plank effects. And like we've put them together, like pallet wood. Even so, it's one solid piece, but it will look like it's made out of four pieces. And then we'll uh, either round the edges off, like so, or if we're not happy with that, I'll simply just put grooves in and give it a bit of a driftwood effect. But we'll know better once we've started routing it out. Okay, as always for me, I'm going to use these little CNC bits. These come in different degrees, 20, 30s, 40s, different coloured tops on. They do a small shaft on, a 3.175, same size as a Dremel shaft. So you will require a collet. And that literally just slots in there, and that's a 6.35 mil. that's a quarter inch. They do come in 6 mil and bigger and smaller or whatever. So just be careful, you make sure you've got the right collet for the router you're going to use. And we're literally going to use this to go around all our pencil lines at the right depth that we need. And we'll also use it to do our three lines across the middle. Once they're all done... We'll come in with our mill end bits. These are really nice. They fit the same collet. And we'll use that to go inside the lettering and clear it all out. There is some quite some big lettering on this. So if it's taking too long, there's a straight metric 1 8 bit, I believe. And that will go in there and just get it out a bit faster. But we'll, we'll play that by ear. It's quite decent wood is this to say it was free. And it comes out fairly good. So we'll set our CNC bit up in the router and we'll start going around all this lettering. Let's do that now. Right, we've gone round with our CNC bit. We've not had any issues. Cuts really nice as this stuff. If you notice there, I've took one out completely, or something up there. This would come off with the CNC bit, no problem. But obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. So I like to remove something like that, simply for when we put on the mill end bit. We've got like a depth gauge, and we will simply set that to the same depth as that. And then that will be right for clearing out the inners of all these letters. I've actually just noticed there. I've missed that bit there. 
that's no problem we'll nibble at that with the mill end bit as we go around okay just simple case of removing your cnc we've done with that slightly now a mill end bit like so same size shaft we pop that in the router set it up on our gauge our depth and then we'll start removing the inners on the lettering Right, you can see from that, it's all come out nicely. Really, is cutting nice this recycled pine stuff, so I'm quite happy with that. We've got our lines drawn off for the three routed out sections we're going to do to make our planking effect. Before that, I'm just going to paint inside these letters, and then we'll sand it down, and then put on the three lines afterwards. And hopefully, that should that will keep any paint out of the line work. And we'll see how that works. First time I've done one of these kind of things. And like I said before, we'll cut out edges and just, just rough it up a bit. So just to stop this bleeding into the side walls of the wood, I'm going to spray on some kind of sealant. It says it seals. There is proper wood seals out there. That's literally a case of a couple of sprays with this. Like so. Just go over it a couple of times. And hopefully that will just seal the side walls of the wood that we've just routed out and then it's literally just a paint and a brush and I'll throw some black in there I was going to put black resin in at one time but we'll stick with the paint for now so I'll spray this off and then we'll start throwing our paint in let it dry we'll sand it down and then we'll put our three lines in and see what kind of effect if anything we've ended up with right that's all nicely dry something as simple as this spraying on your paint would certainly be a lot easier but uh, I don't have any so painters touch well it's just going to throw this on I will say you want you want a couple of coats literally just brushing it into the gaps like so because we sprayed on the sealant it won't take first time but you can throw it in there and you'll see what you end up with it's not the best but once that's dried you can go over it again it takes a matter of minutes so I'll continue with this and then we'll come back when we're ready to sand it off and then we'll put our lines in to give the uh, planking effect right that's all nicely dry Done our couple of coats of black. All we've got to do now is give it a nice sanding over. Just enough to get rid of all these smudges and stuff. You could have sprayed this a lot easier. But then again you'll have a lot more sanding to do. So, so whatever suits you, that's what you need to be using. A little mouse sander today. Nothing too special. And we'll just literally skim over and start tidying this one up. Right, that's all sanded down nicely. Now I'll be quite happy to leave that. Put some linseed oil on, a bit of spray varnish, and that will be that one finished. But I'm going to stick with my initial plan, which was to route out three lines down here.
to give us four three inch planks pallet wood effects you know what i mean so normally i would just do this freehand but today i'm going to put a border on something like this this bit over the, over the top size wise put my router on there mark off where i want to be and set this runner in place and literally just clamp it into position with these one at either side and then we can just run our router along there once we've done that line we'll simply move it up get our positions again at either end with the router clamp it down and do the same again and hopefully we'll get three nice straight lines Right, you can see from that, that's all uh, come out nice, those little lines. Just subtle enough to give the impression that it's four separate pieces now. So yeah, I'm quite pleased. Originally I was going to really cut these in and give it like a driftwood. But I'm just going to keep it subtle. I've gone down the side bits here like so. And that'll do for me on this one, so I'm happy with that. So that's something else I've learnt today about making a runner for the router bit to run alongside on. So next stage, bit of linseed oil on this, just to darken it all down. And then we'll spray some finish of some description over the top. And this little project will be finished. And hopefully once we put the linseed oil on, it might just darken down that wood slightly. Just so the actual joints itself, like in there, will stand out a little bit better. So I'll cover all this off now and we'll come back when this project is finished. Right then, that's all dried off nicely. We've sprayed on four or five coats of this sealant stuff. I love this, I use it all the time on mine. And it's just enough to give it a bit of a bit of a shine you can see from there it's an indoor piece is this one so you don't have to go too carried away with all the uh, varnish and sprays just enough to say you're done we can just about see those lines running down there for the four, four little planking effects so yeah I'm quite happy with that one it's not too bad it's for me anyway so and I'm easily pleased. So 12 inch by 17 on recycled wood. Routed out. Shed crafts with Shane. Thank you very much for watching.